Hi, in this video I'm going to explain why we use a relay. Over here I've got a variety of different types of relays. I've got automotive relays, I've got DC relays, AC relays, a 12 volt relay, even a 6 volt relay, 230 volt relays, but all of these relays provide the same function and that function is using one circuit to control another circuit. Why that's important? Sometimes you may need a DC circuit to control an AC circuit. For example, you might want to use a little microcontroller to control an AC circuit or even a higher current DC circuit. So the main purpose of the relay is to use one circuit to control another circuit. So in the case of a DC circuit controlling an AC circuit, here I've got a battery, I've got one circuit here. When I close the switch, current will flow in this circuit, creating a magnetic field here. This switch will close because of the magnetic force and therefore current can flow like that. So I'm using a DC source to control another source. Now in this case I've got a little DC battery here but it doesn't have to be DC. It could have been an AC supply and maybe this was a globe. When I energize the relay my AC current can flow and therefore I can use a smaller DC voltage to control an AC circuit. I can also use an AC supply to control a DC supply or I can use an AC supply to control another AC supply. I'm now going to demonstrate how I use a DC battery to control a 230 volt AC supply connected to a load. Now over here I have a 230 volt globe. The uh, live and the neutral are connected here to this terminal block. The neutral is connected directly to the supply. Here is my little supply cable which I'll plug in shortly. The live from the supply is going via a relay. Right, so over here I've got the supply wires coming in. There's the neutral going directly to my globe. The live is coming into the relay on the one terminal. It is this terminal over here and it is currently disconnected. The middle terminal as you can see is this wire over here coming out here on this white wire going to the light fitting there on that live wire. So when the relay operates this contact will mate with that contact creating a short circuit between that terminal and that terminal therefore allowing the live current to flow into the globe. I'm now using a relay to control this AC circuit so this is like a switch but that is controlled with a voltage. Now this is a 12 volt relay so I just need to connect this side to a 12 volt source. Alright so in order to activate this relay I'm just going to use this 12 volt battery and yeah if I connect the positive to this terminal on the battery notice how the relay operates. So this little DC battery is enough to open and close this relay. See I'm energizing the relay and de-energizing the relay. Notice that this live wire will join to this wire which will make this wire live. So I'm using this battery to have a switch function and that is the point of the relay. So I'm now going to demonstrate this. Now I'm going to be connecting mine to the supply that is going to be a 230 volt supply. There is a shock hazard here. When you are doing your electrical circuits please use Vero board or circuit boards or even a training board such as a breadboard like this and be very careful of the shock hazard when dealing with the supply voltage. In order to show you the AC voltage I've got a little multimeter here and I'm just going to connect the leads to the live and the neutral. Right so over there I've got the one lead to the live and the other lead is on that side of the terminal block on the neutral. So if I had to plug this in now to the supply you'll see that my meter will show 220 volts. Right so there we see the meter is showing 228 volts and at the moment the light is off. But when I activate the relay using my battery you can see how the light is now on. So I'm using this DC circuit to control that AC circuit. Look at that. So there you can see the light is on and then it is off. So the purpose of the relay is that instead of somebody having to go and manually switch something on or off, we can use the electronic control which means a microcontroller or a PLC can be used to initiate a change of state. For example if you want to start up a motor and you have to go and press the switch that is not ideal. Right, so to sum up, the main reasons we use a relay is we want to use one circuit to control another circuit. It stops us from having to manually go and operate switches when we can use electronic control, computer control to open and close circuits. A very common example of a relay is in a timer. 
So for example, here I have the electronic control and you can even set the days and the times that the relay must be open and closed for. And what this is for is maybe for a pool pump or maybe a boiler or geyser. Maybe it's outside lights and you only want them on in the night and not in the day. Well, this is much better than manually going to switch on and off the lights. Why not just use the electronic control? The electronic control will energize the relay at the designated times using a timer circuit inside. That will bring about the change in the output stage of this relay. All right, so thanks for watching and cheers.